Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make bacon chips, aka crispy bacon. Okay, so for this you're going to need one package of bacon. And what you'll want to do is put it in the freezer at least 30 minutes before you cut it up. And that will just make it easier to cut. The way I like to do it is first cut the bacon in half and then cut that in half. But of course you can cut this to however you want. Okay so I have my pot set over medium heat and I don't have any oil or anything in it and you don't need it because the bacon will render a lot of grease. This is not totally necessary but I like to do it. I like to peel off each piece and put it in the pot. And I've made this before where I just put it in the pot just like that. And it will separate, it won't stick but I feel like it kind of tear up the bacon a little bit so I like doing it this way better. You might be wondering why I'm cooking it in a pot and not a frying pan. Well, it's because I don't want to mess up the stove. I love cooking anything in a pot, especially if I'm frying something. Sometimes I'll even make fried chicken in my pot because I don't want to mess up the stove. So hey, I'm just trying to make life easy for myself. This bacon is going to take a little while to cook but it's worth it and just make sure to keep stirring it. This took me exactly 18 minutes to cook over medium heat. Oh my gosh, this is looking so good. Mm. Now I'm just going to drain it on some paper towel and then I'm done. That's it. Bacon chips is done. So you can just eat this as a snack or you can put it in your burritos or you can crumble it and make it even smaller and put it over your salad. You can eat this however and whenever you want. Don't forget to keep your bacon grease. I don't know what I'm saying because I don't always keep mine. <laughs> it depends. If I know I'm going to use it, I'll keep it. But if I think I won't use it, then I don't keep it. I let it cool off completely and then I just cover it and keep it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope this gave you an idea. At least you know you can make crispy bacon and not dirty up your stove. I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.